It's a massive canvas for artist Eric Boussart as he turns this building in 40 Fort into a work of art, a mural actually wrapping around its walls. We don't have a lot of warm days left, so I gotta work real long days just to take advantage of that. Eric from Clifford has done murals all over, more than 100. I was going to school for illustration and I was working as a house painter to pay rent. So I ended up mixing those two things together and I just started doing my illustrations on walls and uh, just kind of took off. His work is just one of dozens that now cover businesses throughout the west side of the Wyoming Valley. The effort and dream of Street Art Society of NEPA. This all started five years ago. Amy Bezik helped lead the effort. So I started going to council meetings and I literally brought my laptop and I used Photoshop to project images on buildings that I traveled around and took photos of the buildings. The organization links businesses interested in this transformation with artists anxious to spread their creativity in a big way. Fundraising and grants help pay for it all. There's a lot of really good artists around here, so it's cool to see them pop up. Such a positive response. So I, I have people walking by here during construction and they're like, this is wonderful, this is beautiful. Westside communities almost have a feel of one big, unique art museum where you never know what masterpiece you'll spot turning a corner. The themes are a wide variety, often with pieces of the past and present woven into them. So the mural is going to wrap around from this side through the front. The latest project is extra special to Amy. This building is going to be her photography studio opening this month, covered in art inside and out. Look at how gray the clouds are. This adds color to our life during a gray cloudy winter. And there's more to come. Yes, there is. So exciting. The plan is for 10 more next year, creating a growing gallery all around those who live here. John Meyer, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Luzerne.